So in today's video, I'll be talking about some rework or buff ideas that new Casa deserve. Let's talk about the first rework idea, and that is being able to not lock on to nearby teammates when jumping. Now, out of the entire five rework ideas I'm about to mention, this is the most annoying one. Let's just say you're in a close quarters fight with your team and you want to block an entrance, but you can't because your cheeks cheeks with your teammates and your ult keeps locking to them. What respawn needs to do is to add a secondary function to his ultimate where before activation, you can change the mode of his ultimate to lock or unlock. Now we can freely jump without it locking to teammates. Now the second rework idea is that Newcastle's ultimate does not work when jumping. Now I don't know if this was intended to work like this, which would be dumb, but I swear, I remember when Newcastle was just released, I used to jump and pop my ult, which I might be wrong, but I think I used to do it. Now, for the few people who might say he can't pop his ult mid-ear and he needs that first initial jumping animation, just look at this. So it is indeed possible to pop it mid-ear, just not when jumping. So I don't know if this is a bug or what, but respawn please fix. Now the third rework idea is that his tactical shield should have a function like Gibby's gun shield where you can activate and deactivate the top half of the shield. Now I always talk about this in my previous videos, why is this tactical shield split in half? I still don't get it. It only motivates enemies to break the bottom half and shoot at you. The least they could do is, if they don't want to make the bottom half indestructible, give us the option to operate the top half at our own free will, so we can counter enemies that do stuff like that. This is what the tactical shield needs to make it make sense. Now on to the fourth rework idea, and that is to give Newcastle a look down animation. Newcastle is the only character that stands upright while aiming down. I'm going to do some side by side comparisons so you guys can see for yourself. It's funny how Newcastle still needs so much work and the respawn straight up doesn't care. I thought I would see something for Newcastle in the season 16 patch notes, but we only got a class buff and that's pretty much it. And then I see legends who are already way too good are made even more overpowered. Like what about Newcastle? There's still so much that needs to be fixed about this legend. I'm not gonna lie, that, that made me upset. Absolutely nothing for Newcastle. But anyways, last but not least, the fifth rework idea is to increase his vertical and horizontal jumping distance with his ultimate. Now, every time I use his ultimate to disengage a fight, 9 out of 10 times, I barely go anywhere. And the team I was running from just casually walks up and kills me. Now, I know you guys might say it's supposed to be used for jumping to allies or just for building defense. At the end of the day, it's a movement ability. Why does every other legend's movement ability can take them across the map while I can only jump a meter away from enemies without locking to teammates? It just doesn't feel fair. They should increase the overall distance by 20% when not locked to teammates. I don't think that would be too OP. It's just perfect to keep up with these movement means. Now that's the end of the video guys. Please feel free to comment your own Newcastle rework ideas below because I know there are still something that needs to be fixed but I didn't want to make this video too long. So remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the Apex games.